Hey guys, how are you going? So today I'll be showing you how to auto load your PHP files or classes using Composer. So this is definitely uh, the recommended way, or at least one of the recommended ways to auto load your PHP files. So um, if you don't have Composer, I recommend downloading it and installing it at getcomposer.org and that's going to be a requirement in order for this to work. Uh, but anyway, I'm assuming most of you have Composer already. So let's go back inside uh, this tab right here, then go inside the text editor to auto load some files. So it's very easy to do. I'm going to firstly just create a new composer.json file right here. And within this composer.json file, I'm going to simply put uh, one property here, and that is going to be auto load. Okay, we're going to keep this empty for now. But we're going to revisit this file uh, in a few moments. But aside from that, let's leave this and then go inside here now and just create a file structure. So let's go and make a new directory here and call this directory uh, source src. Then inside here, let's make some classes. So firstly, I'm going to make a new directory called data. And this will hold all of the data related classes for the application. And make a second one here, if I can. Um, and this one's going to be... Uh, let's just say, for example, uh, game. Okay, um, so I'm not too sure where that was. I might just, I might just remove uh, this folder here. Sorry, and uh, try again. Um, I'll make a new file inside data. So let's just say database.php, and then try making game again. Um, if I, <laughs> if I can. I'm not sure what this feature is, but uh, there we go. So I've got data. I've got game. So inside game, I'll make a new game.php. And I'll make something like a game, um, a game controller, for example, something like that. Okay. And inside game, I'll make one called player. And inside player, we can just say, for example, uh, player.php. So right here, this is the directory and file structure of the application so far. So we're going to be automatically auto loading all of these files on each page load. Okay. So. We do need to put uh, a few classes and namespaces inside here. So let's just say for the database here, I'm going to say class um, PHP. Okay, so I'm going to say I'm going to say class, then I'm going to say database, um, and this namespace is going to be namespace. I'm just going to say, for example, my app, and then uh, data. Okay. Um, inside here, we can just say uh, public function construct, and for this, we can just say echo made a database okay cool and I'll just copy and paste this for the remaining files so game can be game that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the namespace of my app and then game and then uh, that's all do the same for game controller uh, very similar except game controller I'll also update these echoes I'll say made a game controller and made a game and for the last one here uh, for player it's going to be my app and then game and then player. And this will be class player and made a player. So that is our directory structure. Now, keep in mind that the namespaces here are important for this to work correctly. Um, you should be namespacing your classes anyway, but this, uh, this needs namespaces in order to work correctly. So make sure you have your namespaces set in each one of your classes. Okay. Anyway, let's go and just remove or uh, just close all of these classes here and then go inside um, the composer.json file and inside this auto load property, we're going to add a new property and that's going to be PSR-4 just like that. Then inside here, we're going to specify and we're going to say my app and then two backslashes. Then we're going to say right here, SRC. So basically we are saying that we want to auto load and we're saying that um, uh, this namespace here can be found within this directory right here. So of course all of our namespaces start with my app. So it's basically going to uh, recursively go through each one of these files and it's going to make sure that they're available uh, when we include the auto load file. And that is basically it in order for this to work. Uh, we do need to, though, we need to actually generate the auto load file. So let's go here now inside the terminal and we're going to say composer uh, dump dash auto load. Then we're going to say dash o, and this right here is going to generate the auto load file. Press enter, and we can see in a few moments 
the vendor directory here contains your autoload.php and now uh, you just need to include this file uh, as usual inside your index or your main PHP file and everything should work smoothly. So now let's just close this here and then inside the, uh, the source directory we are just going to say right here, I'm going to say index. You know what? Actually, let's keep it clean. Let's put it outside of the source directory. Uh, we can say index.php, just like that. Inside here now, we can just simply say uh, require once. I'm going to say real path. I'm going to say uh, uh, vendor and then autoload.php. Okay, and then we should uh, be able to save this and just make sure everything worked smoothly. And we can see no errors so far. So let's go back inside here now. And we're going to try and make one of these classes. So let's say for example, player equals a new player. And VS Code is going to automatically uh, say use and then put the namespace up there. Of course, if I didn't want to do that, then I could just say something like this. And I could say for example, let's make a game controller. Uh, we can say my app, then I can say game and then I can say game controller just like that. I can hit save now. Um, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Undefined function game controller. Oh, of course, put new right there. I can save this now and then refresh the browser. And as we can see right here, we get made a player and we get made a game controller. So that is how to auto, uh, sorry, auto load your uh, classes and files in PHP. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.